tonight on Poker After Dark. You're the worst. I'm so mad now. Jamie takes on Maria. It's not what we're playing. The Cadillac of poker. The baseball analyst takes on the basketball guru. <laughs> and the main event champ puts it all on the line. I'll do whatever the hell I want, Daryl. Uh, oh, Scott. Because this is No Limit Texas Hold'em. Welcome back to the beautiful Las Vegas Strip, where we lost Randall Emmett earlier, so we're down to just six players tonight on Poker After Dark here at Aria Hotel and Casino. I'm Alina Jean. Veronica Brill will be catching up with the players tonight for some banter and interviews. Playing a 5K buy-in sit-and-go that created a 40K prize pool. Winner gets 28500 and second will take home 11500 Yeah. Um, I'm a good amateur, not... not yeah, I'm frustratingly not as good as I want to be, given how much I play. Uh, so I don't remember. Very, I, I, dude, I believe it. I just don't remember. Famous I apologize. Yeah, a Blumstein actually little sounds little like it should be rated R the river. to oh, NC-17. No, but we'll give him the benefit of the doubt that it's just a baby-suited yeah, ace. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither anymore. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Sweet. What was I? Yes. What am I? Uh, you're in for 15. Yeah. Do, where do you? Oh, I have sorry. a spot at Bellagio. So like Bellagio has a really. Yeah. 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 Scott limping the cutoff with this King Jack. Only because yeah. Scott's it. That's it. And he'll have scary, Silver scary. dominated as Nate will involuntarily be forced to take a look at a flop, a which contains a jack. Advantage Blumstein with the kicker in the Broadway redraw. Both players check. Third club on the turn. Silver with the lone flush draw. I, mean, I feel like I should have more. I don't understand. What? I feel like I should have more. You, you don't know oh. how many you have. You no, might you have a keep you big stack. Have a good amount. You and now Jackson <laughs> sixes for Nate on the river. No, you're not. Oh, I, jam might be going yeah, but I still have Comes out swinging. Points. I feel all right. Okay. Oh, is that how you count it? Yeah. Yeah, Sub half you pot. Have, you probably have like 80. Laying over three to one. What did I start with? 125. Do so I have less? What, where did I lose it? I don't remember losing it. I lost to you. I think Scott has some weird chance. Oh, wait. Cool. How much did I lose on that one I did with you? Like 20K? What is it? What is it? No. You didn't have the Blumstein. Nice. Way to go. Not that. No. Get a lot of free cards. And payday. Nate Silver. Nothing good is happening. When do you do Into that the chip right lead now, now right. as a cluster on the podium between Silver, Ho, and Blumstein in that that's, order. That's where his mental power is going. I know. It's, I don't it's really like, care, but I kind of care. <laughs> <laughs> you can care when I, 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 I'll I'll try to see at least how much. Definitely it's definitely the talk of the really town, man. <laughs> Pros don't limp. Or is that called limping? I'll do whatever the hell I want, Daryl. Uh, <laughs> See, I don't know if Scott's a pro, though. Like, this is a conversation. He's he won a main event, but. Yeah. The double exactly. Limp? He's too busy to play. This is, this is where when you play online, it's I'm says, a successful it, it says, like, you don't need to fold when you hit fold. Yeah. Like, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay for free. <laughs> you can stay for free. And I'm like, yeah. oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> it has that feature. How many times? Well, see, that, that's happened probably hit your range. Range. Like, oh, yeah. That's, 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 that's so sure. funny, Daryl. Oh, my gosh. Three-way limp pot. Blumstein started the party with the two deuces, and Maria has managed to flop trip threes after she... Limped in from the small. Two checks in front of him, and Scott <laughs> throws a little seasoning out there. Blinds at 1,500, 2,500. Raise 9,000 total. 
playing these shows. Gonna check Ray's from Maria. Oh, Randall didn't even get his food. <laughs> <laughs> the food. Decent number of draws out there that would support her range limping out of the small, but there are some disasters as well, namely a three or a six. It and can affect your play if you order like food or. Yeah, you're like, oh, I don't for sure. Yeah. yeah, I think so. What is it? Caffeine definitely helps your play. Caffeine's a known performance enhancement. Blumstein with a slightly reluctant fold. Wait, why did it start with Venus? As the news comes down from tournament director Paul Campbell that the blinds are escalating. 1,500, 3,000 now. Wait, how'd that go? I don't understand. Oh, is it? You were a big blind last game. You were two and yeah. Oh, and then the blind five hundred. That's a good thing. Oh, There's a clock over there on that monitor good. too, in case you ever like want to know where we're at. Too. I could be ahead of Nate. He doesn't know. No <laughs> idea. <laughs> it's a mystery. Good enough estimator. Just seeing how many chips I have. I'm all in. All in. Good luck, Jam. Finally, enough of a hand for Jam to do just that. Oh, boy. Maria waking up with two queens. I call. Call. Decides to just flat on the button. It'd be so fun for me to call the. Um, Neither yeah. blind takes the bait. Oh, I need it. Oh, and man. trouble for Lilla White as his last stand could be here <laughs> and now with two sevens against two queens. Right. He is in yeah. need of help. Gonna need some help here. Yeah. Need a little help. Come on, Spike. Seriously. Yeah. What's that yeah. called? Yeah. 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 You do run better it's than me, anyone yeah. I've ever come across. Yeah. <laughs> We're so you, need, you just need a seven. Is all that's you it. That's it. Not looking good here. Not ideal. Yeah. That's not a seven. You have hearts? Not that's good. not going to do it, yeah? Not even going to oh, do it. Oh, you have hearts? Still? That's still got hearts? I, exactly. I didn't do it right. I didn't count it. <laughs> She's like, uh, no longer. All right. Else. Okay, no. That's, that's seven. What is that called? Oh, two no. outs? Is that your turn? No. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. And eight doesn't help as Maria oh, would make yeah. the bigger straight, so <laughs> Jam <laughs> needs to pull a seven. Oh. And instead he gets like counterfeited to add Cheers. insult to injury. Nice time, Maria. And our second yeah. casualty yeah. of the evening yeah. is no the cards. music nothing manager. Well, I, I made two big laydowns to Nate, and then I had nothing left, and I didn't want to raise fold for the sevens <laughs> there, so. Hey, that was fun. Cheers, Thanks. man. Good to see you Good to IRL, see you. as they yeah, say. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Fun. As the kids <laughs> say. <laughs> Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where Jamie Lillywhite was our latest player to bow out. Let's get down to five-handed action with Scott Blumstein limping a big holding in the small. Where Blumstein you know limps the king jack suited. How'd you get all those? Uh, well, Jam unluckily had oh, sevens against my hand. Raise 11,000 total. And Maria looking to either take it here or buy the rights to represent post flop. Juices it up to 11,000 with a napkin. The pros and the Joes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're trying to like claim a, you're not. There a is pro. a spectrum. Of stacking strategies from like your like very flat. <laughs> there is, that's true. <laughs> like I'm not even nicely structured to their intimidating <laughs> towers. Yeah, I got all these time cards. Okay. Broadway draw for Scott. Air ball for Maria. Yeah, no one's used the time cards. Can you buy a time card? Well, Randall I'll used them all, but then when you again. when he rebought, <laughs> he got. A new, I'll like, sell my time <laughs> extension <laughs> if anyone wants it. Yeah, buy time. Exactly. Yeah. Is this organized or disorganized for you? That's, I, I like the structure of it. You like the structure? Yeah, I do. Okay. Ooh, this is a tough board to act against, huh? Maria. Oh. Shoots a blank. 8,000 gets called. 41K in the middle. And while we know she has 10 high, Scott 
certainly could be put into a position to respect added streets of pressure. The pee so bad. It's been a while. Oh my god. Yeah. I thought there was like, I thought it was like yeah. Guinness Book of World Record Jewels, like five minutes every hour or something. Thirty-one. That's the big thing on the bet sizing. That seems hard. I think that's like that's like the hardest part of going from, from like intuition yeah. to application. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the the girls from the boys. <laughs> Second barrel here, thirty-one k, and oh, easier said it. than done. Is this going to So Man, gutsy nice, from Maria. Thanks. Yes. My problem is I don't want any big ones like you, Maria. <laughs> that's the problem with yeah. the super all-in yeah, that strategy. That's you win a lot. Oh, you win a shitload so of small. The whole thing was I was like, he wants the rebuy. Yeah. Just He's going to maybe he's going to just do it. He did it, it for nice. you. You had a good hand. It was, it was good. fine. I don't know I if don't I had know. a good I don't know if I had a good hand. But We're going to see. I was trying to. I don't know. I might have had a good hand one of those. You're times. still in, you're still in. It's kind of like cold in here now. It's, I, I am a little cold actually. I was just thinking that. It does get a little cold. I'm like trying to like oh play poker. I'm like, like chill, I got chill. Is it? They might have some hoodies back here. Yeah. Cool. Poker go gear, need some swag. Why am I against Mario? It's just stupid, it's just dumb. That's it. But you have position on me, so that's good. <coughs> Whatever that means. Nobody saw the problem. Like, you don't have to. You yeah. get to see what I do before you have to act. Ace, ten, deuce, as both Maria and Daryl have a piece here. Advantage Mori with the jack kicker. Five thousand. <coughs> Downsizing the seabed from the 7K open, Maria follows through for 5,000. Probing to see whether or not Daryl may have an ace. Ten seconds. Raise 15,000 total. Daryl, the time might come where I'm going to need to know how many. I mean, like, literally, you don't know what denominations he has. Uh, Wait, Liz, what? you don't stop her clock. She didn't ask anything official. <laughs> I didn't, but I will be. <laughs> Next street, Daryl. You're going to have to get your chips yeah. counted. So, Maury, three X's to 15K. Maria calls the extra 10. Neither player improves. Which knee? My left knee. Slightly better than your right. I don't yeah. Know. Well, it's, apparently it's pretty common. Like Tiger Woods had like three knees, or you know, it's like and Brooks Koepka had bad knees. Oh. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna need to, to right. have bad bad fix no. the big chips at least. And it looks like the time has finally come for Daryl's creative I chip stacking to, let you leave to it find like some that. order. Like as Maria end, asks for a count know. officially. <laughs> Actually, like, do it. Feel pretty you want the it's pink one? All right. That's it. No. That's good. That's good. I'm good then. You enjoyed it for a while. Um, I think in the beginning of the pandemic, I was probably like a 22 handicap. Remember how I let you pick one, Daryl? Can I pick that's one? Good. Yeah, that's good. That's good improvement. That's no, a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> Maria. You're the worst. <laughs> I'm so bad now. You know, now I'm going to make you leave yeah, a chip stack like that. You know, like, sends the worst <laughs> hand into the muck properly, but Rough won't get any reassurances yeah, from Daryl. Watch the video later. I go through six or seven holes, I'm like, plus one. Wow. I got a Look at all the chips you have, Daryl. Who knew? Do you see how many chips you have? Yeah, I thought he had way less over there, bro. Thanks. Wait, you have that many yeah, chips? What, what the heck? <laughs> Did you know? Nate knew the whole time. He's no, I didn't. Because yeah. they were like literally buried and you're like a bunch of like five That's absurd. Wow, I can't, I I'm would so upset. And you have another dirty, he has like another dirty I would have lost so there, much too. money betting so the under on how many That's chips. That's so funny. You have so many chips, I'm so upset. Like, oh, That's crazy. Uh, me? Yeah, He's been complaining the whole time. 
Did you have a flush? What happened so far? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. She's just accurate. in the big blind. How did you have that? How did it even mathematically at all? I don't know, but I. Because ran them twice, so there's. I'm so angry. Daryl. Daryl denied the show one. Yeah. Rejected. He's too good. He's too good. <laughs> more good stuff for Maury. Shoots it up to 15K, and it was good stuff until Silver woke up with great stuff. The best, in fact. Upstairs. Some annoying mixture of chips. <laughs> well done. 40K smooth. There's no way Scott's standing. I knew that. A minute. What, what is it to call? 25,000 more, 40,000 total. Oh, they gave you too much. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Daryl had 40K measured out and added it to the 15, but said call, so the dealer will slip 15K back his way. And we've got a meaty 87,500 chip pot and a disastrous flop for Daryl. Certainly gives him some hope, but has him in a bad way here. Aces? Wow. And no sooner did those two you little words <laughs> cross Daryl's lips oh, man. than that one dreaded one crossed Nate's. Did I play okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah relatively. I mean, you can't, you can't. Yeah, it's, uh, can I get hearts at least? You got oh, I still have hearts. Can I block your queen? Yeah. Hearts. Oh, no, I don't have. Oh, I do have hearts. Yeah, yeah. you do too. Hearts yeah. and a king, right? That's it? King Maury. or queen. Or queen. You got plenty of that. I have a few. Uh, Finds himself in need of backdoor straight or flush well, opportunities. Like six, like a king or a queen yeah. in the largest pot of the night. 360K. The back door closed. Now a king or a queen alone. Five outs once. I don't know. I'm supposed to get up. And I know, I know. <laughs> I'm so worried. The river. Uh, is a four. The aces hold, and Nate Dude, Silver like, you have have will become your like overwhelming <laughs> chip leader. That was fun. While Daryl Morey cool. ah, becomes nice the latest casualty. Right, right? Yeah, he did. That's I a good end. I, I would have called the three bet for sure. But, but and then, maybe not all in. Well, you huh? check, but then it's, he's going to bet a lot anyway. Like, you're going to eventually. I can, I can just I, check it there. Yeah, but I. I still think that, uh, I still think you would eventually go broke. Probably. And then there eight, were four. Back of our original seven players still remaining in this sit and go. Looking at the GG Poker chip counts over the 400K threshold is Nate Silver having inherited Daryl Morey's stack. Shane Whitney, the shorty, followed by Scott Blumstein and then Maria Ho. As we continue to work our way toward the money bubble. Don't go anywhere, plenty more Poker After Dark still to come. Daryl Morey couldn't believe it when Nate Silver showed him pocket aces. A cooler flop for our fourth place finisher. We're not allowed to talk about stakes. I just got shocked. Someone shocked Yeah, me. we are. We're just not allowed to talk about why he can't be here. He's the enemy. <laughs> He's the enemy. No, a safe <laughs> is never the enemy. How do you know Dan, Nate? Dan Singer? Yeah. Through my friend Sonny. Um, yeah. You met her, right? Yeah, you know oh. Sonny, right? I was gonna ask you earlier if you still call. Whitney, choosing to limp Jack Four suited on the button, promptly running into East Jack. Yeah, we used to make some Borgata trips together and stuff, so oh, nice. good crew. Blumstein's choice to flat emboldens Maria in the big blind with her ace deuce suited to shoot it up to 17,000. Shane with the easy fold, but now, how will Scott respond?
His hand is heavily underrepped here. Oh. Decides he wants to see a flop. 44,000 in the middle. And a Broadway gut shot for Blumstein while Maria flops the nut flush draw. Sub half pot, the sizing. Lack of a club in Scott's hand presents some problem. Oh. Nevertheless, he calls. And Maria leaves him drawing dead on this turn, which gives her the nut clubs. Blumstein's second check draws a 30k bet out of Maria into 84 on the lighter side. time extension here. Oh. And Blumstein still coming here. Now the board pairs, and his hand is simply nut no pair. Remember pre-flop, Whitney limped in on the button. Blumstein did the same, then Maria made it 17,000, which shed Shane's button open, but not Scott's small blind limp. On the flop, he check called oh. 20K, Hola. and on the river, check called 30,000. before deciding to blast it in there on the river. He had a plan, and unfortunately he ran into the hand that spelled disaster. And every now and again, that's how it goes. Blumstein finishing himself off in fourth place, leaving Maria Ho, the overwhelming chip leader, as she breaks past the 500K barrier. The queen on the river seemed like a good card to make a move on, but unfortunately for Scott, Maria's hand was just too strong to fold. Stay close. Well, it's been quite the moving day here on Poker After Dark as we've lost three players thus far, and Maria Ho stands as our chip leader. Pre-flop you didn't raise? No. Oh. I, I was going to raise. Yeah, you might not have hung around, depending on the raise. Yeah, I might have been like, yeah, well, I mean, if he raised, I probably would call him up with yeah. my hand, but. Well, the Hall of Famer has certainly put in a Hall of Fame worthy performance thus far. Scott's but tricky. Yeah. she's still not in the money. And fortunes can change quickly, especially as the blinds get higher and higher.
King Jack Five with a couple of diamonds as Whitney limped in and decides to lead right out after letting Maria flop top pair. He picks up nothing on the turn, which is a third diamond, and nevertheless fires quickly, this time 10K. That's not going to be enough to make a believer out of Maria just yet as the pot grows to 45,000. And now the queen on the river puts a four straight on the board. And might Whitney be able to get this through? He fires a third barrel. Terrible run out for my hand. 25,000 with just eight high. That last card made me. Oh, did it? Okay. And Whitney says the last card made me trying to get Maria's hand into the muck. I don't think I can. Speech play gets it done. It's not a good board. I almost raised on the flop too. Probably would have. Yeah, you'd push me off. I had a uh, ten. I, yeah. No, I you didn't. A bad king. Well, Maria okay. might have had a different view of Shane if she had seen that one, and Veronica caught up with her earlier. <laughs> so you brought all your friends here, very famous friends, I must say, and uh, one friend from The Amazing Race. Yeah, so Shane and I go way back. Uh, we met on The Amazing Race, and so obviously at first we're competitors, and I was like, I don't like you. They ended up winning, so I liked them even less, but <laughs> honestly, they're, they're a great couple. It was him and his girlfriend at the time who were on the race, and then now they're married and they have kids, and it's just been crazy to think that that show bonded us for life. But we have matching tattoos, actually. That's Oh, wow. That's, it's serious, guys. Wow, and so he's not just your whale. You're getting tattoos <laughs> with him? <laughs> you think maybe Maria's Googling tattoo removal after being bluffed by Shane and that last one? 12. And Whitney says hello to a couple of jacks on the button. Maria with a jack sends it into the muck. And he do soft suit. Just not enough to keep Silver interested. Nice. Well, didn't get much for it, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I was annoyed. I'll I'm like, yeah. I know. You're like, he raised. You're like, I don't even have anything I could call the min. I know. Maybe I should have shoved. Hmm. You can just send it back and I haven't looked yet. <laughs> okay, I'm all in. All in. Silver. Rip City. Out of the small blind, and Whitney has ace eight here. Are you guys gonna look at it at the same time? Oh, not good enough. Should open the other one. Show the other one first. <laughs> Turns his cards face up and reveals that he will fold an ace eight to an all in. What do you prefer, cash or tournament? I don't even know if I've ever asked you. Tournaments, just because that's where like all my studying has been in, you yeah. know, like I'm, I'm definitely like a tournament specialist, but I like the lifestyle of cash games better because I like being able to like, that's the thing about tournaments, right? You Half want, time you'll, you know? you'll start playing. You're like, I'm so excited. And you're like, actually, I just want to go get like a, some tacos. Or yeah, tacos exactly. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like I want to just have a nice dinner. I don't want to rush. I don't want to have like 45 minutes on my dinner break. Like I'd rather just like play cash, get up when I want. Looks like Maria's gonna have plenty of money for some tacos when this bubble bursts. Stay close, more Poker After Dark after this. Welcome back to Poker After Dark where we're on the money bubble. And as you know, this can create some interesting action. Have you gone to uh, Commerce since? I, I have once. And then I and then I play at the bicycle mm -hmm. um, a few a few times. All in, all in. 
We did First it again. one. Silver rips it in again with full knowledge that Whitney's calling range here is going to be very tight, but perhaps we have found that range as he wakes up with an ace jack. It's a group decision. Ten seconds. I mean, you probably you probably have me beat multiple different ways. Ace king, ace queen, even tens. Yeah. Something good bet. Oh! And that's going to get exploited. That ace jack folded a face up. to get Megan into poker. We need her to play like no. sometimes. She's 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 so like fun. Yeah, she was so fun like playing online and stuff. She yeah. was like so fun. Yeah. 14,000. It's the 14,000. Silver increasing his activity levels. Oops, run away. Yeah, she's, she's naturally pretty pretty good at anything competitive right exactly like she would be so good and maria Maybe picks up a fight and, the kids and flops herself mm -hmm. a flush draw while silver has trips that's kind of impossible Check call of 9,000 as 18 more slide into the middle. And now Maria with the best hand, jack high flush. Check. Check. A quick check back from Silver on the turn, keeping it clean, and he fills up. Weird spot for Maria. Certainly doesn't want to leave any meat on the bone, but well aware that it's not a given this flush is a winner. Feels probable or she wouldn't be betting 16, in this bet of 18,000. Gets popped. And now, Ho left to piece the puzzle together. A raise to 14 on the button, a C bet of 9,000 on the flop, a check back after the heart hits on the turn, and the raise to 60,000 here on the river. Take it, sir. Not gonna get paid off by Maria's sense of sniff. Nate, do you and your partner wanna have kids or do you guys have kids? I don't know if I... We don't, I mean, we talked about it, but like, I don't know. We travel a lot and like, maybe a dog in the near future, but probably not. A travelable dog. That's <laughs> yeah. the problem, right? Yeah, you can't leave a kid or a dog at home alone. Well, Nate Silver certainly had a dog in that last fight with Maria, as the action will continue after this. Welcome back to the Poker Go studio here at Aria Resort and Casino, where Veronica Brill caught up with Nate to talk table dynamics. So how are you liking the table so far? You were sitting, you had Randall on your right for a long time. How did that affect the dynamic of the table? No, I mean, the table draw was really good for me, right? You have Randall on my right and then Daryl, who's, you know, interesting player. I like Daryl, I'm friends with Daryl, right? But like on the aggressive side for sure. So like the seat selection was really big, right? In a format like this, like it's just all about like one or two big pots. And so, and so I can't really complain about um, how well I'm running in different respects today for sure. So who is the most feared player at the table for you? I mean, Maria and Scott. I mean, look, we are not like breaking a lot of news by saying there's like a hierarchy of, <laughs> of talent what at the table. What are you saying? Are you saying you're the whale here? What's going on? No, no? I, mean, I no? so I actually used to be a, a pro technically back in like the mid aughts playing limit holder mostly. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that puts me kind of right in the middle between like the actual real pros and like the rec players. So. Um, you know, that would probably destiny me to bust out in third, but I'm hoping to keep running well and, uh, and not bust out in third. 
Silver second and chips behind Maria would do well to keep like it clean you guys are like as he awaits Whitney's fate. hard no, it's just more like a lifestyle choice. Like, yeah, I mean, that. I don't know. I mean, like we you like could be, your mind could be changed. changed. Or both of you guys could decide at some it point. Would, I mean, maybe, I mean, the problem is like, I work hard and like, it's like, I don't know. I mean, I would love an existence where I'm like more settled down in general. I'm not sure it's going to happen like in the very, very near future. Yeah. But. Thanks, 13,000. Call. Yes. Call. Heads up. 13,000 to go, says Maria. Shane defends, and his King 10 okay. is destroyed by queens and threes. Ten K C bet gets through and Shane creeps ever closer to the danger zone of ten bigs and below where truly it's all in or fold territory. Certainly could make the argument that he would be best served to initiate that protocol here and now with 14 bigs. Not let himself get 14. whittled away any further than he already has. Silver announces 14,000 and Whitney all too happy to get that seven deuce out of there. Now it's an ace tray for Maria. And she knows that she can apply a lot of pressure to Nate here given that he should be fairly tight with Shane Stack where it is here on this bubble, but she elects to flat and flops herself aces up. Okay. One over card to the sixes, and obviously Maria doesn't have to have an ace here, so a little 10K pro bet slides in. Some dampness to this board texture, but Maria will flat and five on the turn, producing a second flush draw and four to a wheel. How will she react? Looks like a lead, and this is going to be interesting for Silver, who At is never drawing dead in this spot. Open-ended. Call. Calls the 35,000. Significant pot brewing here. No deuce, no six, no seven, no help for Nate Silver. Now a 43k river bet from Maria. And there are some bluffs in her range. Silver does not have a spade in his hand. Nevertheless, gives her credit appropriately in this spot. And now she approaches a two to one chip lead over second place Nate Silver. And you're starting to get a glimpse of how exactly it is that she arrived at that four million plus in career tournament earnings and it wasn't by accident.
Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. As Maria's game has continued to evolve throughout the years, a number of deep runs in the main event of the World Series of Poker certainly earned her a reputation as being a formidable opponent in big field multi-table tournaments. Here we have a limp pot. Three players will see the 6-6-7. Six, six, Silver swings for 9K and a prompt call from Shane Whitney with Queen 9 of hearts here. Bit of a weird spot for Maria who's got some backdoor potential and a gutter ball here. Decides to take a swing. Her hearts, of course, we know are covered. King High is actually in the lead. And now that it binks a king, is comfortably there. Silver opts to check, and Whitney seems like he had a plan here. Betting 30 of his remaining 68,000, it certainly looks meaningful, but Nate has so much hand on this turn. Cool. Isn't folding for the time being. And now with sixes full of kings, tough to imagine a world in which Nate is going to get away from it as Whitney... Cool. Hangs himself, trying to run the bluff through there unsuccessfully. It was a valiant Thanks. effort, but Thanks. not you meant to be. I tried to push you off it. I know, I tried to, well, did that six maybe uh, mess me. That's all good. That was and fun. Shane Whitney with the dreaded good bubble. Third place yeah, when only the right, top luck, two are paid. Certainly a respectable performance, but not a profitable one, as it'll be heads up. You between Nate Silver yeah. and Maria Ho for the title and the larger piece of the pie. Randall <laughs> <laughs> was happy when you and Scott got in that like Velociraptor confrontation and <laughs> Velociraptor got knocked out. I mean. Veronica spoke to our bubble boy Shane Whitney to discuss his experience here on PAD. Now it, it seemed like there was some good camaraderie at the table uh, Maria reflected back on her time with you yeah. on the Amazing Race, how yeah. she actually didn't like you at first. Yeah. How did you guys end up being friends and now being great poker friends? Yeah, um, you know, I think we got along better as the race progressed and we started to see the competitive nature in each other and we got to know each other better. So up front, we may have had perceptions, but as the race went on, we actually got really close during the race. And then after the race, we stayed in touch and became really close. And we started playing poker weekly during the pandemic. So she kind of brought a bunch of friends together weekly to keep something fun and social going during the pandemic. And that was like a big fun outlet for all of us. So does your wife play poker also? Yeah, she plays a little bit, but she's also super supportive. So when I'm playing, she'll watch the kids because we've got a couple of beautiful kids. So she's got to watch them when I'm playing with at night, so. Lovely. So um, how are you getting Maria back after all of this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just stoked she brought me out here. Um, you know, I'm not surprised that her and Nate are left and that she's left. They both played really well today. So, yeah, to get her back, though, I got to just pay her back and do something nice for her and not get her back in poker. <laughs> You're a really nice person. I would have uh, said I was going to take her the next time we play. <laughs> I'll try, here. yeah. Uh, well, good luck. It was really Thank nice you. watching you. You did a great thanks. job. Appreciate and, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks, Emily. Next time on Poker After Dark. Feel free to not say a GD word. It's an epic heads-up battle between the consummate poker professional and the consummate statistician. Trying to play some big bet poker. <laughs> Only one can win the 28K first place prize. Hold oh. on. It's the suspense. Nate, 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 Nate.
Five nades. Next time, it's going to be six.